In today's video, I will share a free screen recording tool, Loom, that is available for educators and students. Let's view another tutorial from EduTech series. It is very important to have a good screen recorder to record the educator's online lesson or student's remote presentation. Loom recently announced that it is free now for educators and students to use. So let's see how we can use Loom to record our screen. So to get the free account, we have to go to loom.com and get the account. So you can use any uh, Google ID or email to register for the account. So if you have your school Google ID, please use the school Google ID to register for Loom. This will be the dashboard for Loom. And you will be able to see the pricing and also your videos that is available. So currently, these are the plans available under Loom. So anyone can actually create a basic account with Loom and get free screen recording, screen or camera recording. So you can check your account details here. So if you're using your school account, so your plan will be a Loom Pro account for education. So Loom can be used as an extension in browser or you can download as an application. So you can click at more to download the application. Or you can click on Google Chrome extension for Loom. So there will be a button for you to click to install on Chrome. So once you have installed, you are able to see the icon of Loom appearing in your extensions. So if it's not available, click on extension and pin it on the browser. To start recording, simply click on the Loom icon. You will get immediately the recording screen available. Loom allow us to record the screen in three different ways. First, by using the screen and also camera, where you can see your camera available at the bottom. Or you can click on screen only or your camera only. So for each of the options, there will be an advanced option available where you can control whether to have the control menu available or to have the recording countdown. For screen only, you can also remove the use of photos where it will enable only recording on the screen. So once you're ready, you can click on start recording. And you can select on the screen that you would like to record and share. So once you're done, you can click on finish recording. Once you completed your recording, Loom have a simple editor inside the application where it allow you to do a trimming on the video. So if you would like to trim any portion of the video, you are able to trim accordingly. So if you want to trim the beginning of the video or anywhere in the middle, you can do that by clicking on the areas that you want to trim and remove. And further, remove any section that you want to remove from the video. So the original video will be stored in Loom while you edit on trimming the 
portion. So once you're done, publish changes. So you can also further trim later if you want any of the portion. So you realize that when I start the trimming again, the earlier trim portion is available in the loom editing. So by this, it will keep the original video and you can trim at any time you want later. So once you're done, back to the video. And you can now actually share the link with your friends or with your educator by copying the link straight. Or if you want to set further privacy where you want to select on selected people, you can also do that by adding a password. Or you can just leave it as a public view. Besides that, if you want to download, you are also able to download the video for you to do further editing in any other editing tools. So it will be downloaded as MP4. So if you have a screen recording other than your browser, you can use your Loom desktop to record your screen. And once you have installed the Loom recorder, it will give you similar three options, whether you want to have screen plus camera, screen only, or cam only. So the process is same. Select on the options that you want to use and start recording. A Loom desktop application allow you to record desktop application screens. Example like PowerPoint screens, Microsoft Word screens, and many more. So if you want to use for that applications, you can use Loom Desktop. But if you want to use for browser, you can also use the Loom extension that is available in your browser. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe this channel to get more video updates. Bye.